Hi, in this video I want to show you how you can deploy MCP clients and servers to production. If you don't know what MCP is, please watch my introduction video to MCP first. So the answer is actually quite easy, containers and custom API endpoints. This fast MCP server implementation exposes two tools and listens on host 000 and port 3000. The choice for this host is important when running inside a Docker container as it ensures that the server is accessible from outside the container, so including our host machine. MCP has a run method where we use server sent events as transport method. To make a container from that application, we need this very simple Docker file. We copy the app.py into the container and use python app.py as our startup command. Quite simple. Now let's move on to deploying our MCP host and the client setup. In this scenario, our client and host functionality is integrated into a single fast API application. This approach simplifies deployment and management, particularly when we use Docker containers in production. The code I show you here uses fast API with endpoints to register MCP servers, query MCP tools from the servers, and even uses a static website for easy interaction. So let's quickly analyze the main parts. First, we've got this multi-server MCP client. This is our persistent client responsible for managing connections to various MCP servers. In this case, we only got one server, but it could, could handle more. We initialize it once during the application's lifespan. Since MCP is stateful and we want to keep a single connection from the client to the server and not create a new connection every time we make a request. Now let's have a look at the endpoints of the service. So we've got get and post for slash API slash servers. The get endpoint returns the currently registered servers while POST allows you to register new MCP servers dynamically. Then we've got slash API slash ask. This endpoint takes a question, invokes a Langgraph agent powered by GPT-40 Mini and utilizes tools provided by the MCP servers if there are registered servers. This dynamic querying capability makes the system flexible and powerful. We also got a static files endpoint where the endpoint is serving an index HTML that allows you to interact with your API directly from the browser and that simplifies many your testing and debugging. But of course you could use, let's say, a JavaScript framework to connect to the client and let the client run in a single container. To deploy this setup to production using Docker, we need a straightforward Docker file similar to the one that we used for our MCP server. So that's the Docker file and what's happening here. We start with a Python image, a base image, then copy the entire project into the container. We install the dependencies and expose everything on port 8000. Finally, we run UVicon, which is a high-performance ASCII server to serve our fast API application. It's a very simple setup. So once these containers are up and running, we'll have a robust production-ready MCP deployment where clients and servers communicate seamlessly via custom API endpoints and servers and events. So now you can take your containers, put them in the cloud, put them on Kubernetes, wherever you want. And that's my standard setup for 99% of Python projects. Build an API around your business logic, then use a container and deploy the container somewhere in the cloud or on-premise. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Bye.